It's Wednesday, May 29th. I've got Walt Overton and his gang from uh, Overton Fish Farms, Overton Fisheries. Coming out here, we're going to electroshock the lake and try and uh, get a good idea of what's going on with the lake. And then harvest uh, these Florida largemouth. We're doing a trade with Athens Fish Club. Steve Taggart set it up. We're going to uh, trade out the electroshock survey here at Riverview in return for a bunch of these uh, Florida fast-growing Florida largemouths that the Athens Fish and Game are going to uh, stock into their lakes. Here again, we're taking uh, some largemouth out of the lake today using this electroshock boat, the guys from Overton. You can see here the electrodes hang down in the in the water and stun the fish so we can uh, scoop them up and get an idea of what's going on in Lake Carolyn. Alright, we got Overton out here doing this electroshock survey. We've probably been in the water a minute and he scooped up four or five. Let's we'll see what happens. Dang, I'm going to get rid of the rod and reel. Walt's the net man. Not too many to get in the way. I'm seeing a few more little bluegills than I thought. He's scooping bass right and left. I don't know if you can see the little bluegills in there. We're cruising down the edge of the dam. There's actually a few more than what I thought. So he's catching these bass, they, they put some stuff in the water to sedate them, so they're kind of knocked out, they're going to wake up here a little while. See, so I've been throwing the bluegills back that he's catching, I didn't know, he might have wanted to leave them in there. Okay, alright, alright. Oh, to the right, oh, that one's trying to get away, he's up front of the boat there. I think right here is where some beavers been climbing up there. Up front. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. About five minutes, he's probably got 30 of them in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice, 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 nice fish. There's one over here, too. Nice oh, fish. All right, these boys are officially the best fishermen ever been in this lake. <laughs> oh, look at that bluegill blue there, boy. Man, that's a pleasant surprise. Son. Right there. Two of them. Right there. On the left. Big bluegill down here. Big old bluegill right there. Good right in snag, front of the boat. Good snag. All right, catching a few bluegills that I didn't expect to see. A little air on them, Walt. Whoa. told me to sit down, I guess I will. Oh, you can stand up. No, that's all right. I'm a follow boy, but I'm going to watch out. Got a little honey hole going back through, make another pass. Oh, oh. To the right. Over here, Walt. That's a good color. All right, nice one. Four pound, three pound fish. That one there looks to the right. All right, Taggart, I think you're going to be happy with this, buddy. Okay, so we're starting to weigh and measure some of the fish. We probably caught between, uh, I don't know, 75 or so in the first pass, about 20, 30 minutes.
Finishing up the survey, we've got a box full of fish. Stretch Armstrong, Walt, the net man. Nineteen and a half. Three six. Twenty and a half. 